Hello, I am Snapback Jack, and today what I'm going to be doing is conspiracy theories. And I got this as a request because ages ago, I don't know if you remember, I asked for for anyone anyone that had a request for me to do. So I'm doing conspiracy theories. I've looked some of it up. Right, first one I found is the moon is not real. That's what's come up, and that's complete bullshit because you can see it in the fucking sky. So what? <laughs> I mean, there's some people that think, oh no, it's a projector that's projecting the moon onto... How the fuck does that happen? How could you do that? How, how... And the moon landing is is fake as well? Or how? How... Okay, I can understand. Partly understand. They could have filmed the moon landing. A lot of people think that. But I think it was real. I wasn't even a fucking alive when it happened. But still, the moon is fucking real. Okay? If you believe that it's not real... You're a twat. <laughs> Right, okay, next one. Because it says, sometimes boring, only slightly crazy conspiracy theories just aren't enough to, for certain people. Going on about the usual fake moon, fake moon landings pr proposition, it's just like, it, go, it goes on for ages and ages. You've got like a whole page of it, like a whole page of it, it's crazy. All right, next one. Because I just, <laughs> I, yeah. moon isn't real. I mean, you're entitled to your own opinion, I guess, but... Okay, here's one. <laughs> it's quite stupid. I just can't believe this is a thing. Number nine. Dinosaurs helped build the pyramids. <laughs> you can't be joking. Right, it says here. It says here. The pyramids have long been the subject of wild variety of conspiracy theories. But this one really takes the biscuit. Does it really? Right. One of my friends said that the pyramid... Obviously, because we learned in school that the pyramid was a tomb for, like, like the pharaohs and stuff, right? Well, one of my friends said it's a safe place to keep all their corn and stuff for their for their farming and stuff. I think that makes sense. So that's probably what it's used for, and the pharaoh is probably just buried somewhere else, right? I don't know, to be honest, I don't know. But what, <laughs> how did... Dinosaurs, if you, they like that, they don't have proper fucking hands, do they? So how are they going to pick up, how did they help with people build pyramids? How did that happen? I don't, and then it says, speaking the theory, director of institution of right, right, okay, blah, 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 um, it says, however, teach the universe is only, to, uh, um, the universe is only 6,000 years old, so is it, wait, what? Oh, no, am I reading that right? But anyway, it's just bullshit. <laughs> these these theories, these conspiracy theories, are so stupid. Um, all right, here's, here's another one. What? I've never heard about this one. This is odd. Okay, Georgia, USA, obviously. Right. It said, okay, this is number eight. The USA government dumped fake snow on Georgia. Why? 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 Uh, there can be many reasons behind some of the insane conspiracy theories, from paranoia to possible mental illness. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Occasionally, though, it just boils down to the total lack of understanding basic science. Late last year, a rare occurrence happened in, in and around Atlanta, Georgia. So, it showed... So, it snowed on Georgia, but nowhere else. I don't get... It snowed. Well, that's helpful. That's all it says now. I've just scrolled down and it just says it snowed. What the... <laughs> well, but it's saying... It's saying that US government put snow, fake snow, on Georgia, but now it's just saying it snowed. So what... <laughs> well, it just doesn't make sense, does it? Um... Georgia Genius decided to try and melt a fistful of snow with a butane lighter and found that rather that than turning into a puddle of water, it blackened and filled their nostrils with plastic with a plastic smell. Oh, that's love. That's just lovely, isn't it? See, this is the thing. I don't know much about these. These are just these are odd. These are really really odd. But um, oh, I don't know. It's just what are these? This. Excuse me? Ish. I'll just leave the pages stupid. Alright. <laughs> God! 
this one. This one is stupid. This one is so stupid. Number seven, yoga is a form of satanic worship. <laughs> is it now? Is it? Right, I gotta, I gotta read some of this. There are a list of controversial topics for discussion. You might not expect Yoda, yoga, yoga, yoga to be one of them. Regardless, there are a number of people that believe yoga is actually an evil practice designed to trick people into worshipping Satan. <laughs> Oh my god, rather than being simply a good way to relax and exercise, these people interpret the practice as being a way of opening people up to the san satanic procession. <laughs> oh, I don't care about this one now, this is just hilarious. <laughs> satanic worship. Oh my god. Some of these, some of these are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Oh, all right. Number six. Obama can control the weather. <laughs> oh my God! I don't know how 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 this actually comes up. Like, is, is this normal for them? I don't. When Obama was under pressure over the IRS scandal and ben Benghazi and Benghazi. His administration had a clever trick up its sleeve to elevate, alleviate, sorry, the heat. They used their top secret weather machine to create a tornado that devastated Oklahoma and destroyed the town of Moore. Or at least that's what a certain group of conspiracy theorists, yeah, fear, I can't even say the word, want you to believe. Right. Well, the thing is, America, they have Area 51, right? And no one goes, no one knows what goes on in Area 51, but I don't think it's Area 51 anymore, but that's a long story, right? Aliens and all that crap, but you don't know if that's there, the Rockwell, Roswell alien, Rockwell, Roswell alien and all that crap. But do you think they could really make a weather machine? Are they real? Do you think they could do that? It just seems a bit over the top. Um, and why would they want to? Just to cause a hurricane. Why would... Yeah, to create a tornado that devastated Oklahoma and destroyed the town of Moore. Why would they do that, though? What's the point in that? Well, I suppose it's just to give, um, make it seem like Obama's got more power. I know, like, a lot of people, right, a lot of people think that George Bush, George W. Bush, he was the one, uh, he, they thought he was related to the 9-11 attacks and all that crap. So it would make it seem like... He's sort of still the one in power, and they don't think he's stupid, so he can stop it and sort it out. It's just like, that's a bit, you know, you're destroying the World Trade Center just for that. Anyway, <laughs> none of that, so I'm getting into this now. So, scientists don't want you to know our Earth is hollow. Right. Interesting. Oh my god, laptop, stop being a bitch. Go down. There's a good boy. Right. A few centuries ago, it's understandable that a lot of people had some strange ideas about our very own planet. These days, though, we just just about nailed down the idea that it probably isn't flat. Well, of course it's not flat. You fucking idiots. Right. Some these yeah. here. Some conspiracy theory theory theory. I can't say the word. Theorists. Theorists, I'm gonna go with theorists. Uh, believe the Earth is actually hollow, able to be accessed you're using an entrance at the South Pole. <laughs> well, what I learned in school is you got, you got, is it like the crust, and then you got, well, you got the crust and all that crap, and then you got the core pretty much, and the core is just like the center of the Earth, and it's all hot. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I don't think it'd be, I suppose the middle bit, with the, I don't know what I'm doing, mm. the middle bit, the core would be hollow, I suppose, because if it's just like a liquidy, hot thingy, you know what I mean, I, I don't, you know, I don't do this normally, alright, shut up, <laughs> right, okay, so they think that the earth is hollow, and that to get to the centre of the earth, you have to go to the south pole, Right, okay. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Number four. The US government created HIV. Fucking why? If they did, why? What? As one of the biggest killers in the world, HIV is a notor notoriously destructive disease. No cure has been found yet, fueling a global conspiracy theory that the CIA actually invented this disease to order in order to kill off homosexuals and black people. How fuck is wrong? How fucking wrong is that? That is so fucked up on many levels. That is just wrong. That is plain wrong. And they th they think <laughs> So this is a theory obviously. A conspiracy theory. Someone has thought, you know what? CIA created HIV. The thing is though, if they did, <laughs> if they did, then um, I think everyone would try and kill them. <laughs> but obviously, I don't think it is. I think it's just a theory, obviously, and then it's just got like died down now. AIDS, HIV created by America, and it's just this. It's a. Oh, I just, I just, I just, some of these are just funny, and some of these are just like messed up. Yeah, this is a long video, by the way. It's 11 minutes so far. There's only three more. Denver Airport is the most evil place on Earth. How? <laughs> How? I need to find out. This is so ridiculous. Oh, come on, you stupid laptop. Denver Airport is not just the largest airport in the United States and winner of a business travellers magazine, America's best run airport. Award for six years running. No, it's actually the headquarters of the neo-Nazis New World Order. Illuminati and Satan himself. Well that, that my friends, is just a big airport full of fucktards, isn't it? So, <laughs> depending on who you're talking to. So yeah, okay, right. It's true, Denver Airport is a bit of a weird place. It's filled with bizarre artwork and and visitors are greeted by a pretty imitating, intimidating, sorry, statue of a giant horse with red eyes. Really? Okay. This, this, along with some people claiming that an aerial view of the airport makes it look like a bit like a Nazi swat sticker. Is apparently reason enough to believe that it plays host to the most evil organisations from history and legend. Do you really think that though? Do you? <laughs> so you just you just see a bunch of neo Nazis and Satan walking around in an airport. I don't fucking think so. <laughs> the Illuminati. That actually I don't understand what is the Illuminati, but that's that's I'll come to that someone else. A new world order. All of this shit. Like. <laughs> My God, it's just so stupid. You, you you really think that? Oh look, it's Satan walking around in the airport, and there's a horse with fucking giant eyes, and the whole airport looks like a giant Nazi swat sticker. Course it isn't, you fucking idiots. Oh God, these are just too funny. What? Saddam Hussein's alien stargate was the real reason for a Iraq invasion. What the hell is this shit? Imagine the scenario: the U.S. government, gov government, 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 U.S. government obtains intelligence that hidden somewhere in a central Iraq is an actual stargate. Ple Someone's just been spreading shit about Stargate SG One again, and that's how it's got on there. That's how it's got on that shit. Um, Plays by the Anaki gods of ancient Samaria. That's a natural quote from one of the several sites that insist the Iraq war was actually started because the United States wanted access to Saddam Hussein's secret device. Well, once again, I'm not sound uh, like racist or anything, but it is known by most of the world that most Americans are a bit silly, aren't they? So, they think he's got a Stargate. Okay, next one. 
<laughs> right, okay. To me, none of this is possible. All these theories are just complete bullshit. Um, what? Number one. Oh my god. <laughs> Number one. Most of our world leaders are space li li mm. space lizards. Apparently, they're space lizards. Most of our world leaders, le most of our world leaders are space lizards. How how messed up is that? Popularized by notorious conspiracy theorist David David Icke, the reptilians cover up story is a quisen, quis, quin, quintessential nut job theory. The idea that the world is secretly being run by shape-shifting reptilian aliens who are manipulating just about everything from behind the scenes. Um... Oh. No! <laughs> this is all bullshit, honestly. All of this is so bullshit. The airport, neo-Nazis, Satan. That's not gonna happen, is it? You don't see... Okay, there, obviously there is such a thing as neo-Nazis. But they wouldn't just walk around in an airport with Satan, our best buddy Satan, and then the whole, okay, the airport might look like a Nazi swat sticker, but who actually has the time to fucking find out what it looks like? The moon is fucking real, because you can fucking see it, unless someone made a giant projector to fucking boot it into the sky, and how then would we have a night cycle? Not king idiots, right? And then, a weather machine. How would you make a weather machine? If, if America's trillions in debt, why would they make a weather machine, right, cost them that much money to make a weather machine to put themselves more in debt so they could actually potentially destroy part of, parts of their states? There's no reason. They're just fucking idiots, right? All of these are stupid. All of these are completely unreal. I think they're just completely made up, obviously, and someone has a lot of free time. Or they're just complete nut jobs, as it says on there, right? <laughs> um, if there's any more of these videos you want me to do, because I find these very interesting, um, I do do. I try to do comical videos as well, um, but I like these as well. Um, if anyone wants me to do more serious videos, just leave it in the comment section or post it on Facebook or whatever. Um, look at my page. Um, add me on Twitter. It's Snapback Jack ninety four on Twitter. So, like, subscribe, cheers, and peace, and I will see you on the flip side.